If you could just uh, talk right into that microphone, that would be just loads of great. <laughs> Arturo's in at the start for once. Well, hey man, I haven't seen once. him in a while. Well, we haven't done a lot. When's the last time we did a live? It feels like it was over like a, a month, month ago. Probably over yeah. a month. Yeah, it's been a long time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the F Word Podcast. I am your host G, and with me is Vass and Anthony, also known as Big Memes. Got to stick to it. E, do we though? Yeah, and uh, yeah, the F Word Podcast is a is proud to be a part of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network. The sponsorship from Connects Credit Union. I will be doing a ad at the end of the episode because I have one last topic that I want to save till the very end because I think it'll flow very nicely. So let's get to it. Um, what to get to? We got a lot of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff this Hit week. It. I hope everyone's doing good. Everyone from wherever you're listening from, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're safe, you're happy, and uh, your beautiful faces are just enjoying yourselves while you're listening to our ugly mugs what the hell was that like like shade just threw at us i think we're all beautiful us. men us it's it's us we're all beautiful men well yeah. it's depends on how you look at it oh there's a bell he, he looked at he's me. crying he's, he's here at, at the start too wow this is an odd time <laughs> yeah it is odd wow we got everyone don't they, go for a they month they all waiting they're loyal yeah they're like oh don't know what you have till it's gone Ah, uh, thoughts. Okay, where do we start with? Apparently, Disney Plus is just gonna fucking throw every single goddamn idea into a show that they could possibly do and just flood the world. But you'll get it one episode a week. No, not all of them. Just okay. Okay. Uh okay. <laughs> well, okay. We got that. We got uh, Kid Harrington news. We got the Breaking Bad trailer. We got the Mandalorian trailer. We got the Joker trailer. Irishman news, Valkyrie news, which kind of already coincides with some stuff. What else do we talk about? Netflix is throwing a lot of shit there, too. Uh, Obi-Wan news that I just sent. I'm going through the chat. I didn't see the Two Popes uh, teaser trailer, but if it's Anthony Hopkins, I'll probably watch it. Um, What else do we have? Oh, yeah, the Flash movie stuff. Where do you guys want to start? Where do we start? I guess Disney Plus just go down the list. Fine. So why is Disney Plus just throwing everything out like they're giving it all up we haven't even gotten to the date and disney plus is just giving it all up for whatever 15 bucks don't they also have like fox shows they can put on disney plus Seven bucks, isn't it it's eight i think can is eight? it eight yeah eight what's that four dollar thing they keep saying there's a thing where if you start in early you can get it for four dollars a month is that a lie it's like an early bird if you just sign up from now that gets kind of the thing. worm and how long does that last for? Do you get like for the for a full year subscription is four dollars a month kind of thing? I don't know. I saw something. There's this there's this like new um, website I found. It's called We Got It Covered, and I'm oh. actually they're they're pretty good. I've been finding most. We'll of talk the about news. Joker later on. Yeah, in depth, but yeah. just stay there, Bell. We're not going anywhere on Joker. Um. Anyways, so they've got everything. They've got She Hulk. They've got Ms. Marvel. They've got Moon Knight. They've got the Obi Wan movie or, or the Obi Wan show. Sorry, The Mandalorian, which. Even though I threw shade at Star Wars last week, that trailer was I didn't see that trailer. Right very actually, good. Man. I would I would it's worth highly recommend 100%. it. It's very good trailer. By the um, time it comes out, you won't remember shit anyway. Yeah, it's true. Um they're doing um supposedly Valkyrie's gonna get one now. That's the other bit of news. After Love and Thunder, Valkyrie's getting her own Disney Plus show. Um, for the women. This is too much, just, I'm sorry. Just tons of shit. I think it's stuff. too intimidating to like Well, again, they're just announcing stuff. Whether this stuff comes out anytime soon is gonna be a very but it's still like the long time thing with like me and the CW shows when I used to watch like Arrow, yeah. Flash, Legends. Like it just became too much to watch all weekly. Yeah, but those were all released at the same yeah, time. I guess you that. And you too. had to, you basically had to watch every single one of those in order to get the full overarc story between Arrow was the first. Yep. Then Flash. Then Flash. Legends. Legends Black Lightning. Supergirl. Oh, yeah, Black Lightning was in there. Yep. Jesus. Yeah. No. Arrow, Jesus wasn't and in there. Arrow and the Flash were enough for me. I never and Batgirl now. Yeah, son of a bitch. 
I don't think Jesus was in any of those. But you still have to watch them to get like I feel. Jesus, I heard, take the camera. I heard some of them will tie into MCU ah. movies, so you'll have to watch them. Yeah, I know. To tie into them, I know, man. It's Isn't not that what they said about Endgame and stuff like that. Like some of the other Marvel stuff. It's like, oh, there's all this stuff, and you should watch the whole thing. And it's like, no. But like I heard, like I think there's a rumor or like a theory that WandaVision will be like a nightmare thing because like Vision is dead obviously and yeah. it's kind of like how that work Alleged- allegedly it's supposed to be a sitcom there's a promo there's a promo pic and they, it looked oh, like yes, they were in like that. the yeah, 1950s yeah. and it showed Scarlet Witch's classic uniform Ooh. which are that, like in the shadows yeah. and Vision in his uh, in his Vision but it said like uh, that it'll tie into like Doctor Strange and that's how like she goes there so like right. will you have to watch the show to get it or will it be like I think definitely you will. Well, Wait, well, you have to watch. You'll have to watch the movie in order to get the show. Oh, well, I think the show's before the movie. Is it? I think it, like they said it ties in where she like realize she's in a nightmare. And oh, Doctor Strange will like come and like, get her. Oh, from the nightmare realm. Yeah, I guess. I don't realms. even think that's a thing. But like, but... I feel like they kind of have to make sure if you don't watch the show, you get the movie still because. Yeah. I saw a funny meme that reminded me of you though. It's yeah. like uh, Disney Plus has all these so... shows. Like Kenobi's gonna be on Disney Plus for eight ninety nine, and there's a photo like of I think like Cap Pirates of the Caribbean's like we're pirates. You don't know what that means. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> pirate movies. Yeah, yeah, that kind of went right over my Thanks. head. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! What are you trying to say? Nothing. I'm just saying it's a funny joke because oh. you have a pirate beard. Oh, thanks. Cool, cool, cool. And pirate movies. So wait a minute. Cool, cool, cool. Super that cool, whole super joke cool. is not even an inside joke. It's just predicated on the fact that he looks like a pirate. No, it's a it's a cover up. Oh, again, it still went over my head. Just okay. Just, just sit okay. there. Just be the host. Be cool for once. Just be cool for once. No. Okay. I refuse to be cool. I just, I just want. Sorry, to sound wasn't cool. Moon Knight the one that we were talking about that Keanu would play good in? That's a, that's a idea that people. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's just kind of funny. Like we thought about Keanu as Moon Knight because it's yeah. like the Batman esque yeah. of that realm. So now they've done Kit Harrington, which is maybe they wanted right? to. No, Kit, Kit Harrington's doing the Eternal stuff. Yeah, but he also is, his character takes on the persona of Moon Knight from is from what I understand. Oh, does he? That'd be yeah, but I don't know if they're gonna go that far. Is it? Am uh, I am I looking at it wrong? I don't know. I can't remember. If he does, I feel like they would. His, his character does become I thought Kim- that act that like that, that uh, hero or eternal or whatever in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I just don't know how it ties in. I, I thought Kid Harrington was going to be Captain Reluctant, where he just doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> Fucker! Why the fuck would they even put him on there? Screw Kid Harrington. Because they're riding the hype off Game of Thrones. There is no hype on Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a train wreck. There's fangirls that like will support anyone, like Tom Holland, man. Listen, man, we'll support Tom Holland because he did a good well, job. Well, Kit Harrington has the same kind of fangirls. They'll just like, blindly follow him, whatever he does. Uh, now it's Marvel's. I don't know. I think it's a smart move just because, A, like from Entourage talk, like just like kind of like knowing like Kit Harrington can carry a show on his own. What do you mean Entourage well, talk? Well, just like... From, you know, like uh, just like the like business lingo, I guess they talked about it, like how people have to carry shows or networks need like stars that can carry shows on their own. Sure. Like Kid Harrington is a guy who can carry a show because he's like really popular right now. Can he, though, even though he had an entire season where all he did was stare into the void of nothing? I'm not debating Game of Thrones with you right now. I'm just saying <laughs> he's an actor who's very popular. I'm just, I'm just saying. He's supposed to be Black Knight. Black Knight? Marvel's Black Knight, Kid Harrington. I don't know I don't know who Black Knight is. It's like Dark Knight, but it's Marvel's version. That's mm. Moon Knight though. Moon Knight is is Marvel's Batman. But yeah, this is like the even like bootlegger version. Oh. Black Knight. Looks like Oja O doesn't like his this. actor, his character name. Sorry, dude. Is... I don't think he's saying this is kind of gay. Is he saying this or that's? I don't know. This is that's kind of gay. That's kind of gay. I don't know what that means, but it gave a thumbs so, up. So Here's from Cinema Blend, and they basically say that Kit Harrington, uh, his character is Dane Whitman, a character who becomes the hero known as the Black Knight. I don't want it. Yeah, I never yeah. wanted it. Is that what he's gonna? That's gonna be his dialogue. Oh my god, get over it. Never. <laughs> this show ended like five months ago. No, Move I just, on. I just think it's just silly. Yeah, well. So what Disney Plus? Like I'm just saying, like. I feel like uh, it's very a good idea. I, like behind Disney Plus, I'm excited for some shows, mm-hmm. but I don't think I'm gonna watch every show. Gentlemen, it is turning into what we already have now. Okay, cable TV. It's cable TV. It's gonna turn into satellite, just like when you subscribe to HBO and it was this this cool thing. We're all gonna have five different streaming services that we're gonna be cycling through. I'm going through Netflix right now because that's all I have. Uh, like it's cable. I'm just flipping through shows, looking at thumbnails, and then I finally pick one, just like when I'm flipping through commercials. I am in this weird void that's essentially sent me all the way back. However, 
Watch I am Prime. very happy that Disney Plus is wanting to roll out more shows. For now, it's just The Mandalorian, correct? Like, at or is launch? it all of them? At launch or what? The weekly rollout. I think, I'm pretty sure it was all of them. Yeah. That's what I assumed. I think that is a great idea. And mm-hmm. it's going just to be cable. <laughs> Once a week, our shows are going to be coming on. And I think there's, that's, that's there's a good There's a good, good chunk plan. of Netflix shows that do still well, do weekly. I know weekly. Titans does weekly. Like, all of DC shows do, do weekly. Riverdale yeah. is weekly. Which yeah. is... It's not Netflix's, but they have distribution available. There's like a, the CW will play it, yeah. and then the uh, Netflix, Netflix gets to get it the next day kind of thing. It's which is going to happen, man. It's going to happen. Which is fine. It is what it is. I think, it's, I think it's a great idea, and I think it's what people want, because over the last... How many years have we been binging? Five? Yeah. Like At least? High school kind of started. So it's five years of binging shows, and everyone's like, oh, let's talk about this. Oh, I can't. I haven't seen it yet. What? It just came out. We watched the whole thing in a day, and it's like... Well, sorry. So you can't connect with it. Yeah. So now I'm guessing that the like I that's guess, why I, guess I contend that aside from a lot of the cool stuff in Game of Thrones, the reason why it was even as big is because it invited people to just live in that show week to week yeah. whenever the season came. And then the year went on and mm-hmm. everyone's talking about, oh, what's going to be like? What, what's going to happen? Who's going to fuck a dragon? Who's going to fly one? Who's going to kill one? Like pick one of the three. And now we're going to have that same opportunity to do it and actually get a connection for it. That's why mm-hmm. people are going to be connected just like I was connected to Game of Thrones because I'm not a big Game of Thrones fan, but I did like talking about it because it's fun coming up with shit. We're having fun. <laughs> we're having fun here. One thing I missed the most about The Walking Dead when I actually used to watch it oh. is just watching it week to week and having like those huge ass cliffhangers where everyone at school the next day would be talking yeah. about The Walking Dead. Yeah. I like, remember when uh, I was gonna say, that's it. That's yeah. the thing. When Negan picked like it was like a whole like reveal or mystery like who he's going to kill yeah. and then when he killed the guy like the like, next season like premiere everyone at school like teachers, students were all talking about this moment yeah. and it was like yeah. huge. Like, it was crazy. We it's still a, had that. Yeah. It's a great way to connect with people because like there's a good chance especially during the, when Game of Thrones was on that you're going to run into somebody and they're going to have seen the Game of Thrones and they're going to have theories. You can sit there with a group of 10 people and I guarantee you at least half of them have seen it mm-hmm. and that at least you can get in that conversation with people. That's a, I mean, it's it's like sports, mm-hmm. you know, sports, movies, all that stuff. It's a way to connect. And that's that's ultimately what we're all looking for. We're looking for people to connect with. And all we need is that little nugget, that little ad- adhesive to connect us together. We just call it up with a conversation killer because you just keep killing conversations with your yeah. mindfulness. I'm sorry. I'm not being mindful. I'm just being aware. All right, moving on. Um, <laughs> Segway. Yeah. Segway. Please, Segway. Anyways, right now. <laughs> so the, so the She-Hulk, apparently they have uh, Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine-Nine as a, a rumored frontrunner for She-Hulk. Uh, uh, Rosa. Rosa. Yeah. Rosa. 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 Huh. Interesting. I don't know. You guys are the fucking worst crowd ever aren't we for like what terrible in terms of what like, well just you know what? overall just did you want us to sing feedback. rosa with yeah. you no but i mean like it's i know that most of my jokes are terrible i know that for a fact but it as guests and people co-hosts not guests co-hosts of this show you have to you know bounce off the host or each other so to. we have to laugh at you. You're saying we have to laugh at your jokes. Nope. I'm just saying just carry it on. Well, I was, I was thinking because I don't. You I was guys are like Michael bad. Scott. Every time I try to bring on an improv, you just say, Detective Michael Scarn, get down <laughs> on the ground. And you keep killing every scene. You guys are Detective Michael Scarn right now. You're scarning me. Well, I was thinking. I had to think because at first I was like, that's a, like, that's weird. And I was like, I don't know if it'd be like, I don't know She-Hulk at all. It just, yeah, I just, I wouldn't imagine her like Rosa or I don't, I'm going to say Rosa, but I wouldn't imagine her like her character. I, I only know her as Rosa. So mm-hmm. that's the only character I know her as, and it's kind of like, is that She Hulk? Have don't you know. listened to her normally? Yeah, it's really weird. She's it's, really nice. It's really crazy when she does her fake nice voice on Brooklyn Nine. That's, nice. that's her real yeah. one. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> I think she'd be good. I mean, she's got that rage thing that she can do, but I don't know. I don't know the character well enough, so I don't know how much rage. Well, she's a lawyer. That's all I know. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't. It'd be interesting. How does she get near the gamma? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, well, I, I don't. Else? They're also thinking that they're also saying that Thunderbolt Ross might even become the Red Hulk, like he does in the comic line. Oh, well, first they need to be able to make a Hulk movie, then they can decide to like do Hulk villains, you know. Yeah. But they can't do that. So, what's the point? That's true. Mm. That's true. That's true. Um, and then the Valkyrie is getting her show. 
which is after Love and Thunder, which will be interesting because well, I'm actually, obviously like, I think she's be an interesting character. It's just like it's meant to be a movie I or a series. Love to I see think a movie would be better fit. Like honestly, I feel like she'd carry her own movie. If they do a series, I just want a series called Valkyrie, and I want it about the Valkyries up until they fought Hela. If it was a prequel, that would actually be a good show. <laughs> oh yeah, because they, they they haven't said and she's getting her own mo- show. Yeah, supposedly, she's getting her own show yeah, after Love and Thunder. But I would I love think, for them to yeah. do a prequel with Valkyries and show how the Valkyries are with like Odin, who like they don't have to. They could bring Anthony Hopkins if they want, but I think it'd be too expensive. But have that, and they already mm-hmm. have a built-in cinematography because if the cinematography kind of looks like that beautiful scene in Ragnarok when yeah. Loki puts his fist on her on Valkyrie's hand to see what happened, yeah, at that that scene is just amazing. But they can like play off of that. Thing. I think it'd be badass. It would be, yeah, because I guess it's up to spe- up to interpretation at this point. Because you could do it like a, a comedy <laughs> where she's trying to be queen of Asgard. No, in that little hole. No, that wall. would be a what if series. I know. No, no, no. I'm not talking. About, come on, man. Get your head out of your ass. I want to know how Valkyrie oh, went from being the honorable know. one fighting for the crown or for the kingdom to ending up on Sakar. That's what I want to well, know. Well, realistically, actually. That Vasily's idea is probably what the show's going to be about. What, a comedy? Well, <laughs> come on, it's, yeah, that, she was in a comedy movie. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. that was that was playing off. But it's of, also, I assume it would like, go off the future. Like, I'd like a prequel more, but honestly, yeah. like, it's going to go to the future of the MCU, right? Where she is the queen of Asgard. Yeah. They might, but I don't know. I would like your idea. Wait, I'm just saying realistically, that's probably what they're going to do. <laughs> it's going to be. If I'm trying to think what it could be compared to. I'm, I'm happy they're actually doing shows instead of movies because then they can at least flesh all of this shit out. Yeah. Because it's a lot better to flesh it out than it would be to just. But all of them are meant one movie. to tie in together, are they not? Like I think they're going to do that now. I think what they're going to do is instead of serializing the movies, yeah, they're going to keep their flagships like the Black Panthers and now for sure, rest yeah. in peace, Spider Man, no longer in, in Disney. Well, apparently they're going uh, back. Aren't they do? Aren't they trying to pitch a seven movie deal? Yeah, well, yeah. They'll probably say like we want seven more movies and we'll stick stick to the same deal. That was always. The deal. The deal. Well, it's, I was I was watching, uh, not watching. I saw Kevin Smith's comments on it, and like he brought up a lot of good points and stuff we talked about last week. Yeah, where it's like Disney made Spider Man that good. Yeah, he is the one that made like sorry, they are the ones that made Spider Man bankable and brought all of that money. Mm-hmm. So screw you, Sony. They're actually not being greedy by Kevin yeah. Smith saying, and it's not about spider-man having his own movies but it's just him being in that mix and and knowing that he's like still in yeah we have a comment from arturo he said i also think that it depends on how love and thunder ends like totally yeah yeah they could do i don't think natalie portman would do this but if she was cool i think she should is valkyrie and because if if supposedly valkyrie and uh jane foster like thor jane foster have a connection Mm -hmm. like have a relationship I think the two of them would be pretty sweet. Like a scissor relationship? No, not like that. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Supposedly, <laughs> Valkyrie's, okay, Valkyrie's for bisexual. A oh. But there's yeah. also rumors. I, it's not, I'm not confirmed this, that, that there's going to be no love with Thor, but it'll be actual love the Jane Foster with Valkyrie, which I, I think would be that. like really cool. <laughs> he just eats his feelings again. <laughs> yeah. He's so, just standing there like <laughs> as he's about to hug her and she just moves over to Valkyrie and it's like... Yeah. I can imagine like it's like near the yeah. end of the movie, like Jane goes up to like goes like Thor. It's like that classic. I'm gonna like, hug, and oh, she just goes yeah. past him and like, yeah, goes yeah. for Valkyrie. It, like in Dodgeball, when he was uh, going after that oh, one girl, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. she ends up making out with her girlfriend, and yeah. Vince like, oh. "I'm bi," and then she's like, "I'm bisexual," but like in this case, she's <laughs> not bisexual. Like that's the end thing. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty funny. That's funny. Speaking of end things, I've watched like Endgame three times this week. Yeah, my brother was watching it because I got it for his birthday because he, for some reason, wanted it on DVD. So I'm like, okay, there you go. I, like, I came into the house. I, I bought it on his, DVD. Avengers. Dude, I got emotional Assemble. and I cried. I got emotional. I still haven't seen it twice. I've only seen it once. I've seen it once since it came out. No, just in total. Just one time. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen it Oh, I've twice. I'm on seven. Yeah. Oh, you're on seven? I've seen it twice in the theaters. Once... Once on DVD regular and the second time, literally as soon as it ended, because I was at home and Soph was doing other stuff, as soon as it ended, I threw it back on with the director and writer commentary, which I always like. That's why I like DVDs. I like in the bonus features and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I watched all the bonus features, which I thought, they, which was pretty good. Are there like lots of uh, deleted scenes or just? There's not as many as you'd think, but I, there was that one with Rocket, which I thought was hilarious where he's like, 
dude, the Chitari is super easy. All you have to do is take out the main ship. I'm like, that. they should have kept that. That was really funny. And then That's it led funny. me to believe, like, wouldn't Thor know about this? But maybe he just didn't know about the Chitari. They did, he would and he wouldn't. Well, he should from Avengers, the first one. No, I'm saying before that. Like Rocket knew about the Chitauri oh, yeah, yeah. as like this as army being and how right, weak yeah. they are. Yeah, and yeah. all you need to do is take out that base. Yeah. I thought it was a really funny one. <laughs> um, but there weren't as many deleted scenes. Um, Maybe they're saving it for their big expensive bundle. Yep. But Can't it's wait. a lot faster. Like that movie goes so much faster than I remember it. Like, I remember the second time it went fast, but now watching it, I was like, shit, like, I'm already at towards the end. Everyone tells me when they watch it, or, like, most people tell me, is that, like, the first, like, two-thirds go, like, really slowly, like, because they are waiting for, like, that big, like, battle scene. Yeah. Like, the battle goes by really quickly. So, I'm, well, I haven't see, seen it the second time, though. See, for me, now it does something different where that first, like, two and three quarters, because I like it a lot. Like, I like that that. Uh, I like the part. time heist. Like, I actually enjoyed it. Like, yeah. Lot, yeah like, me too. Like, but that part goes by a lot faster than I remember it. And yep. then the battle goes by even quicker, even quicker. But there was I, there was more to it than I remember. I think the only part for me that kind of drags on is where Thanos is kind of figuring out what mm-hmm. Nebula. That's the only part that kind of slows down for me. Yeah. Everything else before and after that, just it's like that. That's true. But yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just glad that when I watched it because I had it there for a while. I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch this. What if I don't like it anymore? Yeah, I, I, I so. still really liked it, but it's such a different movie. I was listening to this guy talk about like, oh, you know, I never really like the Marvel movies because there's no stakes in them. He's like, that's my problem with Endgame. What stakes do you want? Half the population died or not died was vanished. I don't understand it. Like, I get it maybe for some of the previous ones, mm-hmm. but it's like, what? So you want everybody just to die? That's the stakes you want? Just everyone to just get massacred? Like, I, I think that's a very... I don't know. I think that's just a very typical. I think it's a fair take on the superhero genre as a total. Like, there's not like many like big stakes for like a majority of the movies. Yeah. But like, yeah, no, for like Endgame, like people like, I understand some got people were mad like Spider Man's gonna stay dead, whatever. Like, who cares? But Iron Man died, Captain America's gone, and like mm-hmm. Black Widow died. Like, there were actually like repercussions. It wasn't just like everything's yeah. back and to normal. Half the population was vanished. Can you imagine living like standing next to you guys and all of a sudden? even just one of us just vanishing and we have no idea what the hell's going on. Like have to call Nick back. That's yeah. That's like, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the stuff where you, you look at somebody, it's like, Hey, clearly you didn't, I don't want to use the term. You didn't understand it, but clearly you didn't, feel the weight that the characters were feeling well, which may have been like the, the preconceived note so I'd cut you up, like preconceived no. notion that they like just didn't like superhero movies so they come in already yeah. like hating like i will these like, the, no this stupid. guy's like he's got a youtube channel that oh. talks about superhero stuff hmm. a lot of it is shitting on captain marvel like most of the youtube stuff out there that's why you I found them yeah <laughs> actually <laughs> birds of a I feather found <laughs> him, i found him in uh related to something else and i forget what it was it was a captain marvel review <laughs> just say no it wasn't a re- <laughs> it wasn't a review uh <laughs> Oh, it, it's something going on. It's for the topic at the end of the show. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, no. What? No. no I'm not doing a rant. Oh, Fuck okay. off. <laughs> Sorry. You made it seem like you're saving he's been, something he's been for clean that. for months. He's not going back. He's not relapsing. <laughs> no, I'm not going to relapse like that. I remember that one episode. We were just staring at each other, and I was timing it. Yeah, like, and then you decided, minutes. and then you decided to bring up the Thor, to blame Thor Ragnarok for something so innocuous. No, we're not going to get into it. Miss. Like you mis under- misinterpreted what you literally I said. said. You know what I hate about Thor Ragnarok that it did this, and it's yeah, like, dude, right. they've been doing this forever. But you also took it as me bashing the movie. Like I hate this movie. No, I just you felt like you. Nick Masili just- came to my defense the next week. They cleared the table. Sure. Uh, Taika Waititi confirms Thor: Love and Thunder will feature both Thors, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I just always assume that. I'm like, yeah, you sent me that. I'm like, is that it? But like- I think they'll do like a Rocky montage. Oh. I could see them doing that. With the music whips and everything. Him back into shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the oh, music's going to okay. be different. Him, tr- him training her. I'm like, no, no. What's that say? It's not the critical drinker, is it? No, it's not. It's uh the quartering. I guess it's called the quartering. Is this what his channel is? Oh, um, okay. I was, I was confused. I'm like, is that a movie? Like, I think he was yeah. talking about like the, the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, his videos aren't that great, but it was talking about something. I forget what it was, but then he brought just up captured. how he didn't like Endgame. I was just like, all right, man trigger <laughs> that's cool no you know what the funny thing was I've, I've i've seen a few of them like well i didn't really care for endgame I'm like that's cool i liked it and it did everything it wanted for me yeah. and it's like a very I'm, I'm on that train right now well you can dislike endgame i don't care but like do your own thing dude dislike anything you want just yeah. come up with a good argument for it um anyway so the two thor should be interesting mm-hmm. um did he bring mjolnir and oh sorry mjolnir was sent back to that that time the timeline 
the but timeline and then Loki Stormbreaker is there. It. Yeah. Like, that's, the th- that's the theory I've heard is you're going to bring but, it back. But Loki can't because well, it's why not said, the worthy yeah, Loki. Yeah. Um, what Maybe else he becomes there? worthy in the show. Did you guys see the Rise of Skywalker special look? I saw the trailer. I did, yeah. Look. Okay, good. Because like, I the trailer, is that what we're talking about? It looks about? interesting. Oh. Well, that's the one that uh, kind of features a little bit more with Rey mm-hmm. and a, a dark Sith looking Rey. Yeah, so is she uh, going full Sith? Well, well no, that's just honestly, it, it, it's a uh, misdirection. They're not like, they wouldn't yeah. reveal that. Either, I was talking to Costa, like Kalitsis, who's like a big Star Wars guy. Mm. And he said it's either a uh, vision. Yeah. Either it's legit, which is very unlikely, yeah. or it's just like a clone of her. Maybe she'll go back a clone, to that planet, or it's one of those, uh, like one of those bounty hunters that can shapeshift, or, or like a, a being that can shapeshift a little bit. And it had like a, a lightsaber, almost like Maul, but it like okay. it folded down. Yeah, it was oh, like versus like, like a two whip. ends. Yeah, kind of. Like, comp- like if you like if you it was a hinged like those, like those wristbands that you yes, used to put over yes. your hand and it would just snap mm-hmm. over and create a wristband. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. I well, know. yeah, like the same idea. Like yeah, it's kind of like, kind of. That would really hurt. It opens up though. Oh, okay. Like a full two sided. Mm-hmm. But anyways, should be interesting. Was did it look interesting? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looked. I don't know. I, I think. It, oh yeah. I, <laughs> I think it'll, it'll be interesting nonetheless. I don't want to watch another trailer for it. Yeah. But this is like I don't know. It looked whatever. Don't yeah. So it was just like a. It was a. It was a tribute slash more footage. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like a second trailer. But it was, I don't know. It was very weird. But they had Darth Vader breathing in it near the end. Yeah. So it's like, is he coming of back? Of course. Just like on that last one where they had Sidious. The, the Sidious or whatever. No, it wasn't Sidious. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Was it? And he was laughing. Cackling. Yeah. Laughing or whatever. It's like. Again, on. it could be just uh, not even have anything to do with that character coming back. It could be just they're putting it in there as a montage, as a as a throwback kind of thing. We'll see. Okay. I'm no more excited. I'm way more excited for The Mandalorian than I am. For I'm just not a big Star Wars guy. A lot of people like, you are. Know, after that last one, I will just go and see the fucking movie, and that's it. I will reserve my excitement for afterwards if it's good. Um, low expectations. Low, very low. There you go. That could be a good thing. I have, I, have, um, I have so low level of expectations for... Rise of Skywalker. That's actually exactly the same boat. Yeah. Like, this, this is fucking surprise. crazy. The Go Mythbusters, on. Jesse Combs. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I read about that. What, did they, what like, the f- She was like, trying to break brutal. a record. Yeah. Her own record. Is so she she went- had the... Okay, so this is... The Hollywood Reporter states that the, the Harney County Sheriff's Office confirmed on Wednesday that Combs, who was a professional racer, passed away after a crash in a dry lake bed. Mm-hmm. Though the exact cause of the accident is currently under investigation. Yeah. Uh, this is her last, I believe this is her last tweet. Sometimes I just got to push the noise out, turn my head and get to work. Big things happening. Hopefully super fast things. That's heartbreaking, man. Holy yeah. shit. So she was uh, part of the Mythbusters 2.0 kind of thing when uh, those two main guys, Grant, and, or not Grant, um, what the heck are their names? I can't even Andy remember. Savage and, Andy Savage um, and I forget what the other guy's name the is. The mustache Heinemann. guy. Hyman. Hyman, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they're part of the 2.0. The younger crowd. Combs' death was confirmed in a touching tribute on Instagram by close teammate Terry Madden, who wrote a heart-wrenching post about the racing star's final moments, saying he is not okay after losing the most amazing spirit that I've ever known, obviously. Mm-hmm. Her family also released a statement. Um, 36 years old. Holy shit. Um, At least she went out to doing something she loved. Oh, yeah. She been... So it says here, according to the road to road and track, Combs earned the title of the fastest woman on four wheels when she reached 398 miles per hour yep. at 641 kilometers an hour in 2013, racing her jet powered North American Eagle supersonic speed challenger. Mm-hmm. Shit, she was young. Good for her. Yep. Three, How fast was she yeah. going when was it like I think she, she was trying like to go like 75, wasn't it? No, it was like in the 500s. And that's think, miles, correct? Yeah, uh, so that's like, oh, isn't Nick, it double? Nick had posted, he's like, she was trying to go 512 miles yeah, per hour. Go. So kilometers are double, right? Is it like uh, pretty, not pretty, pretty close. close, yeah. Jesus, holy yeah. fuck. Well, that is fucking heartbreaking. Yeah. Wait, so that would be like what, like just under 1,000 kilometers an hour? I think it might be over. Yeah. Fuck me, that is, going 100 seems fast to me. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Holy shit. Fuck, man, crazy. that's brutal. Cannot imagine the Oldsmobile would be able to handle anywhere near that amount of speed, but. Damn. Yeah, your Oldsmobile can barely handle 50. Well, it's like leaking oil. <laughs> it's okay. Damn. It'll die soon. That's brutal. I'm going through like our list, and I com- I completely forgot about that one. Alex Trebek is apparently coming back to Jeopardy. I don't know. He's on is. his like last. He's a Jeopardy host for like the past however many years. <laughs> he uh, is apparently going through his last round of chemo, and he's very excited. He says it's going to be a good year, so all the power to him. 
By the way, 512 miles per hour would be 823 kilometers per hour. That's so fast as fuck. Fucking hell. Fast as fuck. 398 was crazy to begin with. I'm just speechless. Like, honestly, that's just like, what car, like... It, it's like a super jet car yeah, kind of thing. Like, you literally have one of those engines, a mini engine from a plane just behind you. Yeah. Would that be illegal to like, just drive around? Well, she's a professional driver. Oh, so just like say, drive, like if I want no, to no, 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 definitely she's a, not. She's like a this, this is a This isn't like a, a street legal car. There's like different classes. She's just trying to yeah, be, just, be the land speed record and like, yeah. Would it be for goodness or is it just like just for her? For her own. Oh. She just wants to break that record, her own record and go figure so. Mm. And no one can touch it. So <laughs> How fast so. was she going when she like died? Did she meet the record or she like just lost? Uh, she, she apparently won. She tried doing this already once and she reached like 400 and some miles per hour. But something went wrong. And I had to go back to the drawing board because like this thing has to be engineered to shit. Like it mm-hmm. has to be 100% perfect. And you got to think of the tires behind it because that's actually a lot what holds back like certain vehicles from actually reaching their full potential is the tires. Like mm-hmm. those Bugatti cars that have like the are considered the highest production vehicles or one of the only thing that holds them back from reaching their top end uh, speed is their tires. So you got to imagine what this thing has going on for it. So probably prototype stuff and jet fuel and whatnot. So, yeah. yeah, but it's well, pretty crazy. S- still super. That's pretty fucking heartbreaking. Yeah. Um. Would you guys go to school at the University of Texas to be taught by Matthew McConaughey? I don't know. Because well, Matthew McConaughey is supposedly a full-time professor what is at the teaching? University of Texas. In art. Nope. Music? So the Academy Award winning actor Matthew McConaughey, and this, I'm reading this on The Insider. Mm-hmm. Uh, winning actor Matthew McConaughey will start teaching as a full-time professor at the university this fall. McConaughey began working uh, at the university as a visiting instructor in 2015, since then, the movie star has become a cult hero on campus and even helped drive students home from campus in a golf cart in 2016. Oh. So, he is a, supposedly added to the list of faculty as a professor of practice. Oh. Which supposedly means... I don't know what it means. I clicked professor on the link. Practice. It's the class... I guess it has something to do with... Um, Theater theater it has he to. joins the faculty in the department of radio television film after serving as a visiting instructor hmm. he began co-teaching script to screen film production class oh. which he says it's the class i wish i would have had when i was in film school that's a nice thing to go back and do that yeah he, yeah he earned a film degree there from ut austin academy award-winning actor whatever 50 films all that stuff um yeah interesting your film degrees, though, like just in like general, like you just don't really need them. Like if yeah. you go, you'll get like something out of it, but it's just like really expensive, and it's kind of like it's kind of those these types of jobs are probably ones <laughs> that like you either have it or you don't, and you just have that natural knack for it. Um, on the technical side, maybe they look at that kind of stuff because like now you have to have that one up, and mm-hmm. other yeah, ones are probably yeah. like grandfathered in or like just prodigies of their own. Just they have that knack in them to like okay, it, they just it just clicks kind of thing. So. But uh, the writing and stuff, yeah, you could definitely, I think you could still benefit from a class of Well, sorts. for writing, is kind of like different. Where I feel like you yeah. would go to different like classes for writing. Yeah. And shit, but yeah. But it sounds like this is what that is. Like for, Script for writers, to screen yeah. is like getting it from one to the other and then being yeah. able to interpret that. I don't know to what capacity. It doesn't say too many details. But yeah. hey, man, it's an era it's where people are well, I remember my Uncle John at once. told me like his story. I think this is accurate. Like he told me this a couple of years ago. So I don't know if it's like he was just joking. But he said he was just approached on the street. And some guy said, hey, do you want to help me make a movie? Mm-hmm. And he said, sure. And now he's like a producer in Hollywood. Doing oh, okay. Stuff. That's yeah, like dope. John Albanis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I just found that like interesting and fun. That is really. Those are like the type of things <laughs> that people wish would happen. Yeah. Like yeah. once in a lifetime. Like yeah. it's not going to happen. That's like, I want to be discovered. It probably still happens. Don't say like it doesn't, but it's just like far and few. You probably oh, yeah. hear. But I think people are able to make themselves discovered. Well, For sure. Now. Like, like yeah, YouTube, especially now, it's probably like the biggest way a lot of like yeah. actors have gotten like discovered. Not even I think just Justin actors, Bieber like, got discovered on YouTube actually for sure. Yeah, he did. But even uh, special effects people, like the guys that did that Star Wars thing where they filled in Episode Four, like they did mm-hmm. the New Hope fight scene between Obi Wan and oh, Darth yeah, Vader. Yeah, 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 that shit was the most incredible shit I've seen. I was like, fuck, it should have been. <laughs> well, they, I don't think they had the technology to do it. Yeah. But these guys are doing it for YouTube. Like, you know, the, it's just mm. amazing. Well, well, even think about this. Like, not only did they not have the, the technology for it, but they also, it was the different style of the time. Like, they didn't know how to make it 
what it is like you could say that no matter what you say but even the prequels the lightsaber fights were way better like they had For more sure movement they more choreography it was better that way technically that i don't way. think anybody contends that the uh darth maul fight oh it's still one of the best fights <laughs> was, was like it's it is probably one yeah. of the best ones in all of star wars yeah that was a great great obi-wan and fight. anakin's was great well, they did a lot of the re- one that everyone says the best it's the best they the only the thing about obi-wan one yeah really? it's up there but for me i found that there's a lot of repeat moves for sure that anakin and obi-wan like the same ones yeah no i um that was great but like like there's that's the cool thing is that yeah. people can do their own shit like if we yeah. really wanted to and we had the gumption we can mm-hmm. make our own show and just produce it for youtube and put it up there as like a as a series yeah you know i feel like you should use the facebook account next time you want to use the facebook well, account? i think it's more like feasible than my meme account hey man i don't Honestly, care same amount do of whatever views. you want well, I, I think to, i think primarily like arturo it's easier for arturo to use this one than stay, facebook yeah. but. arturo make a facebook it's 2019 <laughs> or don't because it's 2019. Just make, one for, make Arturo F word. There you go. Just, just listen to us. That's the only reason for the app. <laughs> or just make him an admin on ours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, just being He's an account first. Um, yeah. yeah. So anyways, that's cool. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. Uh, I El Camino, Breaking Bad movie trailer. Let's Skinny Beat. I that's wish I could get into Breaking one, Bad. Yeah. I wish you could too. I might try one more time. Honestly. It's coming out 10, 11, 19. Do it. So I'm very quickly. a little like, older now. Maybe I've honestly tried <laughs> like hard. And I've gone past a couple episodes, but I like, always restart this first one. Maybe you, I don't, maybe what you need to For do is. For the office, I skipped the first season and went to the second season first. Maybe I'll just watch a recap, go to the second season, then watch the first season when I'm done the series. No, I think what you need to do is go to season three, the finale of season three, I think, three or four, and just watch that episode. I'm thinking it'll be like a whole. I'm hoping it'll be a holy crap moment for you and be like, holy shit, how did we get here? And you start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. When. Um, Is that Tuco? No. That's Tuco season two, beginning of. End of season one, beginning of season two. Yeah. But there's something in one of the finales that I think you might be like. What, what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm trying to convey is you find a holy shit episode just so it can spark the. How the hell did. did like. What's the what's the beginning of this, yeah. right? Um, and I think that might help. It's tough. It's easier to do with sitcoms. So season three finale. I think it's a season three finale. Season three. Jane. Oh yeah. I'm thinking that episode might be like what the fuck, and then it'll end mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. You know, making it happen. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, I will watch the season three finale sometime before yeah. the next episode, <clears throat> and then you can start from the beginning and take yourself there. Uh, Irishman. Not going into popular theaters. It will be on 250 screens, but not in like the main ones. So basically, supposedly. they're the only ones that actually signed the agreement with Netflix to allow six months or a certain amount of time. They only allowed a little bit of exclusivity. Just enough that they can get the recognition. That's what Roma did. Three. Three, three months. Three months? Well, three they're months, doing, yeah. They're doing the same thing that Roma did. Yep. Uh, and Roma got nominated and so it won So tell me, an Irishman's going to be three and a half hours long. Three and a half hours. I can't wait. I'm glad it's on Netflix because I, I don't yeah, know if yeah. I'd be able to go. Like, that might be pushing it for me. But I think I they still, have to p- introduce a... I would still a, watch it or whatever. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Wasn't King Kong like four hours and they didn't have an intermission? Is that the Peter Jackson one? I think it was like with... Honestly, Jack it was Black. With, yeah, Jack Black. Yeah, yeah that's was. a Peter Jackson. Was one. it four hours? I don't think so. Someone because we were talking pretty about close to like, well, this one was like four hours and then have an intermission. Well, shit, maybe it was. I don't remember. I'm not sure. All I know is that yeah, now that I'm thinking good. about it, it's a Scorsese. I'll tough it out. If I can go through three oh, yeah. hours and credits for Endgame, that's yeah. pretty much three and a half hours. That's the movie. Yeah, but it, and at and least that, you can pause the movie though. And the thing is, though, the only that's reason that. Uh, Netflix is even offering that deal up in the way they're doing it is so they get the Oscar recognition. Right. Because they won't there's no platform for the streaming services. Yeah, for Would sure. Would they be the first streaming service well, again, they need for a thing? Nope. Roma. Roma did. So Roma, uh, so. And I think it just Elba for um I forget what the movie was called. It was Charlie? actually a really good movie. The Charlie nope. one? No, it was another one. So was actually I want to see the first streaming service though. Well, the streaming service the model has to fit in with the Oscar con- running, so they have to do yeah. a campaign. It has to be in a theater in um, in Hollywood, the L.A. Like the county. Thing. It has to run for at least three showings and uh, three showings a day, and it has to be at, like there has to be a six o'clock and a nine o'clock or something like that mm-hmm. for at least a couple of weeks um, in an L.A. county theater to be viewed to be for consideration. So. But yeah, all those big uh, distributors like Cineplex want it oh we want six months exclusively well, no, but they're not, apparently they're not going to those though they're only going no, to that, the that's smaller. the thing so, maybe landmark cinemas 
Uh, I don't know if is Landmark pretty big. I don't know. I really, I don't really oh wait, you got it. a job there. Yes, Anthony got a job. I you forgot. Accepted? I should have opened it with it. Hmm? You, you accepted, accepted it? their terms. Uh, well, yes, but I'm also going for the interview with EB Games. Oh, well, you can next accept Saturday. and then forget go EB else. Games, man. But just closer. I hear it's That's terrible. A well, no, because I asked, I asked Jesse. He's like, you know what? Like, it's like a, it's retail. It's not. Tell like, Jesse oh, that my headphones haven't come in yet. I won. Oh yeah, he told me. I won. He was the worried that people would get mad because he like you knew who he was or you guys knew each other. He saw you think. Like, oh. I had no. Yeah, I had no idea about it. I just literally end up pulling it. The, his buddy was there who doesn't know me, and he was he bore witness to the whole thing. Um, but I, they still haven't come in, so I don't know if I'll ever see those headphones, which I really don't care. We'll have to do an expose on EB Games. Yeah, <laughs> looks like you guys can't deliver. Oh. Um. Anyways, but yeah, I'm super yeah. excited for the Irishman. Yeah. No too. matter what. Um, let's get to the shits. Mark Marin, provocateur. Oh, oh okay. I was like, who the fuck? I don't know Mark anything Marin? about that. What's no, that? it's the Joker thing. I see. The assume, Joker. Right? Star. Oh, yeah. 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 Joker star. This is on. We got to cover. We got this covered. We do the trailer um, first, then this, because I feel like it made more sense. Sure. Let's talk about the trailer. Like Joker topic. trailer. We all saw it. Yeah, I thought it was great. And I, awesome. I honestly didn't know De Niro was in it. Me neither. Oh, I have a... Is that um, always kept like under wraps kind of thing for an, up until now? It must have been. I must have not been paying That's attention. That's wild. I have a news Which thing, is great. Which is, sorry, because of Taxi Driver and my connection. I'm thinking it's got a Taxi Driver feel. Oh, there you go. Uh, this will apparently launch a whole like line of DC movies called DC Black, where they're just like not canon to any DCEU storylines. Okay. So, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So is the Batman going to be a part of this then? Because like, from what I, they're saying, it's kind of like... I would love to just... I want them to do a full run of this th- dark series with every... So the, is the dark series meant to coincide with each other or is it just meant to be like it's their one-offs and they well, don't have to tie into each other i feel like they won't because they, if they're not going to tie into the dceu why would they do like what era universes? is this joker one said anything 70s you think it's 70s it seems like same era as like gotham tv show kind of seems like that's what the vibe i get it's got well it, like the tv yeah. is and in that's when they have i think the, i think the tv is actually more 80s 90s well the, the tv is in technicolor so it, it seems like it's more of the the 70s era as you opposed think? to yeah, but okay. I, I don't remember. I'll have to look into it. I mean, we got our phones, but yeah, we're trying to run a show and pay attention. No, you guys like that trailer though? Yeah, yeah I just I the, one thing I was talking about is that I just dislike that a lot of people are going to be like, I'm not making, I'm not like saying if you're depressed, like you're a liar. Like people with depression is an actual issue. Mm-hmm. But lots of people that are my age that mm-hmm. like I feel sad every once in a while. But I don't like I don't go around like self diagnosing myself as depressed. Because of the trailer? Yeah, well, people are like, uh, when he says, like, I what do you mean, like, I have, like, negative thoughts, like, all my thoughts are negative, and someone's like, yeah. I feel that 100%, I'm like, no, you don't, don't lie, no, you don't, you're like, <laughs> are they seemingly normal individuals that are saying yeah, this? Yeah, they, like, run a comic book page, and they're always, like, smiling, having, like, I'm not, I, I'm just saying, it's, it's a tough gonna, call, I'm not going after anyone, I'm just saying, lots of people, oh. even, like, at high school, like without the movie, always like say they're depressed. It's like you're not depressed. You're just sad. <laughs> There's a difference. Yes. There is a difference. I think, yeah, chronic depression and mm-hmm. just feeling sad are two completely You cannot self diagnose yourself with depression. If you get diagnosed, there you go. But you can't say, I'm yeah. depressed because my girlfriend dumped me. We were together for five days. Did your girlfriend dump you? Oh, well, six days. Oh. I made it different enough. So I didn't want to like seem that way. Did you just say, hey, hold on to this break until tomorrow because my last one was only five days and I need to get one <laughs> more on you? Yeah, yeah. streak. <laughs> I need to I need to increase it. Next one will this be a the week. second one? Hmm? No, no fine. Oh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> I was gonna say. Um yeah, that's a that's a tough call. That's a that's a can of worms that I try not to to get into. It yeah. Trailer was good though. I, I liked it. I was super into it. I'm not it. gonna watch another trailer. It, Good yeah, enough. I might be on the blind. same with you. It kind of shows there's a little bit more depth into it just behind his character alone. Oh, there's like there's more gonna... that he influences with the rest of the city in some way, shape, or form. Like you see yeah. that coming out, and I was like, hey, how are they going to spin this? So I, th- I think you... it's going to be the rise of a beaten down class of individuals that yeah. are are disenfranchised from everything. Um, but you know, it does run the risk of being super, super politically preachy as well. Yeah, I don't know. You know, should be. I, I think the narrative should be more. If it, it's if it's a period piece for me, the narrative should be based on that period piece. It shouldn't be a period piece in the seventies and being about the stuff of today because that doesn't fit. They're different yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you're gonna pick a period piece, pick one that is relative to maybe today, which is why I'm thinking end of the sixties to the seventies or so. Yeah, because it reflects a lot of 
you know polarization that's out there mm-hmm. today. So there's that one scene at the end of the trailer where he goes on a talk show. Yeah. yeah. And people are drawing the connection to the Dark Knight Returns, the animated movie. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, many, many moons ago. Where Dark he Knight goes Returns. to a talk show and like kills every single person in that thing where he like stabs the hosts like with a knife and he oh. locks all the doors and gasses everyone. That might oh. happen. <laughs> I, think, I don't remember that one very well. Because I think he gets roasted by that. I think he's on the same talk show where he gets like roasted. Like, yeah, nobody's it laughing. It sounds like it. Yeah, because yeah, he says, he's like, yeah, that's what and people are saying. If he's going to that same talk show, he's killing every single person that's there. Hilarious. I'm calling it right now. Not hilarious that they're killing people, but yeah. that's hilarious that they're doing well, that connection. All I know <laughs> is that the visuals look amazing. Mm-hmm. I love, love that shot when he's got his head tilted back and it's got like the makeup on. Mm-hmm. There's something just so visceral about that. But like, you can tell he's a little hard bit hard to watch. Behind that, you kind of have that wackiness. Is like you can see his mental state, but there's also a few scenes where he's very focused and he's got something in his mind going on. And while the chaos is going, and he's just sitting there, kind of enjoying it. Well, and and I think it's that duality of the second he puts the makeup on, he is instantly somebody else. Yeah, right. Just like all of these guys escapes in that. They 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 that mask is not just an idea, as he was saying in Batman Begins, mm-hmm. but it's also like, hey, once I put this on, I can be a different person. Like Jim Carrey was like, I feel differently with the mask, the mask on, yeah. right? Was it Thomas Wayne who we punched the Joker? We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Pardon? Like he was talking to some like older guy in a suit and he just gets like the Joker gets punched by. Is that Thomas mm. Wayne? I don't remember. So I think that's like a villain. Like he's like not mm. a villain, but he's like the like, guy Another the Joker's antagonist. going against is Thomas Wayne. Is that oh, Mark maybe. Maron's character? I don't even know what Mark Maron's character is on this. No but I think if they want to do a sequel, I was thinking about The Dark Knight Returns. I think a good idea for the sequel would be like this would be the rise of the Joker and the sequel would be the fall of the Joker and just have it be two movies. Mm hmm. I, I think it just should be a one-off. Well, if they're going to go for a sequel, that's what I'm thinking. And I think to your idea. point, too, like, as awesome it would be if they can connect everything together, I don't think that should be their, you know, thought process. Mark Maron's character Oh, Arturo. Uh, yeah, that's Thomas. Ted Marker. No, Ted, he plays Ted Marco. Well, is that the same guy we're talking Ted with, though? Because he's saying that guy who punches him is Thomas, that's Thomas Wayne. Wayne. I don't know if this... Okay. That, that might be true, but the, the guy, if, Mark Maron, plays Ted Marco. In the bathroom, right? Well, is that what the scene was? It was like in a ma- I don't know if it was in a bathroom. He was yeah. wearing a suit. And Brett just- Cullen is done. Thomas Wayne. Oh, okay. Who actually was, was in the, the Dark Knight Rises? He seasons. was. Yeah, he was that one cop in the Dark Knight Rises. No. Uh, or no, he wasn't. He was the senator. Was he the senator? Yeah, something like that. It's a funny thing with the Joker uh, in the Dark Knight. It's when he's like wearing no makeup and he has the scars. Mm-hmm. And someone posted it as a fact, saying this is the Joker without any makeup. And someone's like, "That's so mean! Like, why would you make fun of a like man's deformity like that?" Because they thought they were like, "Shut the." Fuck and the guy's up. like, "No, that's literally the Joker without makeup in the movie." She's like, oh, of course! <laughs> what a bunch of idiots! I'm excited, honestly, for DC Black just in general because DC makes good. I don't know the DCU is a mess, but they make good like standalone movies. Like prior yeah. to the DCU, like arguably you can say you like the movies. That's fine, but like they made good movies. Until they, they decide do. to copy Marvel. So if, if they, you know what all it is? It's catch the ball first, then run. And they caught the ball first on the, some of their standalones, and they're able to run with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They didn't rush to get Wonder Woman out. We're still waiting for it, and we're still super excited for it. Honestly, though, for uh, the Batman movie, if that wants to be its own thing, not connected to the DCEU, go ahead. Agreed. Just make a good fucking Batman movie. Same with Aquaman. Same with supposedly It director doing uh, the Flashpoint mm-hmm. movie yeah. or Flash or whatever the fucking movie Retcon is. the whole universe, please. Probably. <laughs> Just do but a soft I, reboot. I haven't seen It Chapter 2 yet. Was it the it's same director yet. from It? It's not out yet. I know. I think it is. Cause I, well, it has to be because like, why would you have two directors? Like They filmed back to back so yeah. I don't think they'd... So then... I think probably how it's going to work for Flash. As a back-to-back sequel. I think what they said, because the guy said it was kind of weird, like filming with a different cast. I'm pretty sure it's a Google right now. Because you have to go with the older cast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either way that, you know, he seems like he was, he was a pretty good director. I don't know his name very well, but I don't know if we talked about it. Tell me. The show before, no, it must have came out last week, kind of talking in the Joker and and Batman realm, that Penny, Pennyworth uh, TV series that's coming out about Alfred. Oh yeah, I don't know. that should be interesting. Is it? I know the first episode like came out or something. You know Already? Screened, oh, you know what I forgot? Oh. We, we didn't talk about is um, the insta kill moment in Endgame. I know we're like completely off base here. I think but we did, didn't we? Did we talk about? No, we talked about it privately, oh. like in the chat. Oh yeah. It's like. Um, but wait, it the, is the, the same writer, director, by the way. It, okay. It is. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one, the writer, or one of the guys behind Spider Man, I guess, didn't like the fact that he had an insta kill. And so the question was like, does it matter that they're space dogs that aren't from this universe, or does the the same rules apply, or do you just let him die because you want him to keep some type of? I don't either know, way, innocence? there's other like 
so I I understand where he's coming from. It's kind of like I myself like wouldn't want Spider-Man to kill, but it's also they're at the end of the day you're snapping them all away. So it's not like yeah, like what do you think is gonna happen? It's a war right now. Like exactly, you either die or they die. It's yeah. not. Also, they attacked him. Like they're going to kill. Like he already died. They were gonna kill yeah. him. So yeah, he comes back. Like yeah, you've been dead for five years. What the yeah. fuck? Okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yep. Don't do this. it. <laughs> it's not like he went to the street, saw someone like stealing a muffin, went activate instant kill, and just fucking gutted him. Dude, yeah. my thing is this: all these superheroes have killed some motherfuckers. Oh, like, BVS col- Batman, collateral damage. Not even just him. Even all Dark the Batman. Knight. Dark Knight. He like paralyzes people. If like ha- worse than death. There yeah. are people going in for brain aneurysms. Just for hitting their head on their cars. Okay, these fuckers have killed some people. The 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 damage afterwards is irreparable yeah. for a lot of these people. What does he say? Kind of random, but did you guys see Dave Chappelle's new comedy that came out on Monday? No. Sticks and Stones, not yet. I was watching the Sebastian Maniscalco stand up though. Do you like oh, him? I, he's my favorite comedian. He's so funny. Oh, Just because he's like really? Italian, it's kind of like Shh, yeah, same way. Like I kind of grew up with yeah. kind of same like humor. Like he was talking about getting paid to. Uh, Use a theme to at funerals and stuff like that, like he mm-hmm. sends dead bodies when he was like, "Oh wow, lunch breaks." <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Chappelle's the only thing I've heard about is that he's going like he's touching on all this like transgender stuff, like he's going well, deep into that. Th- there was one, check it out. There was one other YouTube channel, I think it's called Geeks and Gamers, and he was like yeah. saying that they, his new special is just triggering every single SJW from every single section of every single that. thing. Like I can't have wait. The from, from the <laughs> white people to the black people, the transgender people, the gay people, the left, the right, the up, the down, everything. I wow. just respect, like, you can have your own opinion on anything, like, yeah. on, even on that issue. It's just, I respect that he's not scared. Oh, he's yeah. He's actually too. going out and like, yeah, I, this is how I feel. Like, come at me. That's what I... This is what's happening. Yeah. There is There is going to be... There is happening already... A complete reverse of all the stupid SJW stuff that's been going on. Yeah. And people on both sides. Because the extremes end up eating themselves. Yeah. Okay? And they're going to end up eating themselves and people are getting pushed more and more towards center because their own groups or their own tribe is going after them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so that's not what we're about. Well, I remember the biggest one yeah. was the LGBTQ thing when they wanted like pedophiles to join. And a lot of like people were like, no, like, yeah, yeah. we don't want that. And it's like, yeah, that's like... That's a, that's a stretch. Come on, guys. I was like, I was listening to um. It was a it was a roundtable discussion in Australia, and there was a transgender uh person on there, and they were saying how they they seemingly hate the people that are defending transgender rights, but aren't transgender, and more so that they're virtue signaling all over the place in the name of transgender rights. They're like, oh, I don't want yeah. it. I didn't ask for this, and. This individual was like, like spoke brilliantly. I was, Mm -hmm. I was like, just staring. I'm like, like killing everybody else on this round table. And in such a way that's just like, fuck man, like that's, that's how you articulate some shit. Like good for you. And that's how you fight for your right. Yeah. To party. Well, I think the biggest issue is that a lot of like people like that aren't a part of that community always like victimize them and like talk on their behalf saying like you guys are oppressing. It's like not. Because I remember at like our grad, I talked about how they like went out saying like all these things that happened. It may have happened. I'm not gonna say it's like BS, but I've never heard like they were saying like people like this happens all the time. Like I've never heard a single person like make fun of a guy for being gay, like an actual gay guy, yeah, yeah. or like going up to, like transgender and like making fun of them and like other people being like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Like I've never like that's never happened. I've never yeah. like, seen that happen. Yeah, well, maybe it, I'm ignorant though. I don't it, know. It, and it's not to discount that it doesn't happen, mm-hmm, for sure. but I think what it does is. It takes away from the moments that actually happen. It makes it seem like less. It's just like it happens all the time. Like who cares? Yeah. Right. And so now, for guys like Dave Chappelle to be going out there and doing their thing, like mm-hmm. the worst thing that you can do is silence an individual's voice. Yep. Unless, like, it's super egregious. But even then, you don't want to silence them. You want them out in the open so everybody else can go after them. If yeah. the collective is looking at a person that's, let's say, being racist, you don't want them hiding underground. Mm-hmm. You want them out in the open so we as a collective group of people can be like, you're fucked up. Mm-hmm. You're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like right now on Facebook, for instance, and I know this this is kind of going on a, on a tangent, but I don't comment on anybody's posts on Facebook. And I see people I talking. I don't. <laughs> but, I want uh, you but so bad. But a lot guess. of people that talk about like ignorant po- political thoughts and, and all sorts of stuff from, from the people that are um, – anti-left anti-right yeah. um pro this pro that all of them that are putting out their it stuff out there and there's been so many times especially early on where i'm just like i just want to comment on this but i never have 
and I never will. And it's because drop a nice meme. It's not just that. It's I don't need to. Yeah. Because there's no point to it. Well, you realize who you're dealing with. Number one, that it, I and you get that all the time. It's like. I'm having this conversation with someone or you're dealing with a situation with someone. Once you realize where this person's at, it's like, hey, there's no reasoning with you. <laughs> Have yourself a nice day. I'm just going to watch in the back. And However, just, <laughs> but the other thing is, is that I want to know what people are thinking. No, for sure. And so when I do meet them, I know exactly what not to talk about. Yeah. Because some of these people that are saying some of this ridiculous stuff, they're people I am acquaintances with. Yeah. And I might hang out with in a public setting. So... I'd rather know mm-hmm. and not start a fight with you on Facebook so then we can try to like slug it out there. That's just, that's ignorant. That's something I probably would have done like a year and a half ago. If you want to talk about childish, ago. that's how you be childish. Yeah. So now <laughs> it's like, no, I know exactly where your thoughts are. I know exactly where, yeah. where your where your ideas lie and I know where there could be conflict. Guess mm-hmm. what? I don't need to touch on that. Yeah. I don't need to find you in a crowd either and be like, hey, that thing you put on Facebook was stupid or whatever. You know what? It's it's all how you approach it too. It can be brought up, and especially like you know, depending on the relationship you have with mm-hmm. the person, you might feel a little more comfortable. Obviously, it's like, hey, I saw what you post on thing. Where did you like? Where do you stand? I know where you stand on this thing, but where? Yeah. How did you come to that conclusion to post that specifically? It's like I'm just curious. You're not trying to make a fight. You're just trying to get to like you want to actually find out the story behind. We'll just have it. a conversation. Well, that's yeah. just it. It's like I can. I can ask you why it doesn't have to be like I'm attacking you. I'm just, I'm just curious. It's like, I'm not, you know, not fully judging. There's a little bit of judgment. Always mm-hmm. there is. You can't say it. Well, not there judging. is because if you <laughs> if it doesn't line exactly with yours, you're going to judge it. But yeah. it's more of questioning. Questioning yeah. doesn't mean judgment. Not necessarily. And no. also a well-articulated argument doesn't mean it's the right answer either. Nope. It's just somebody that has a well-articulated argument. Mm-hmm. And just because you notice something, doesn't mean that you subscribe to that. You're just like, I noticed this thing. Yeah. I noticed there's a disproportion, disproportionate amount of, let's say, I don't know, uh, Greek people that work in Asian restaurants. That's not a front to Asian people or Greek people. Yeah, It's the, not to go to a Greek people and be like, hey, how come you don't have Greek people that work at your Asian sushi place? Mm. That's the, you know mm. what I mean? Like that doesn't make any type of argument whatsoever. Yeah. And that's what seemingly you're people are doing. Trolling at that yeah, point. you're you're just finding a reason to make yourself relevant in, yeah. in the world. Well, I like I've stated this before. Like I love debating people, but even at school, you cannot have a debate without being labeled. Like I was labeled a white supremacist by oh, my wow. teacher. Unbelievable! Oh wow! Like she was, thought I was the biggest racist. Did like, you tell the principal? No, because because I would have fucking taken her down to town. Ta- like, like I, I would have taken I even her said, to like, before we. Uh, Hello. Before, like, they were voting for MCs in her class to see, like, how who the kids liked. Yeah. Before she said my name, even this guy was in my group. Like, the guy I was going against was also because we did a group, and I was like, this guy wants to do like, f- we were stirring the pot. Okay, oh, we were, yeah. I will admit we were stirring the pot. Well, how? So we were extent? talking about like white privilege not being real, systemic racism not being like stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah. And I'll explain my views not later, like not in depth, but still. And so like she said, yeah. So do you guys want to vote for this guy or Anthony? But just so you know, Anthony thinks white privilege isn't real. And only one kid didn't vote for me, so it was in her face. But <laughs> I can explain saying, listen, it was for a paper. I said, I think some cases it does exist, some cases it doesn't. But you just argued uh, uh, the opposite end of the debate. Doesn't mean it yeah. 100%. Sorry to stop it. We have a minute 50 left. And oh, okay. Ivan, is that Ivan? Yes. Hello, Ivan. We're doing very well. How are you? Unfortunately, the, we're down to about a minute 45. But you can catch the full episode uh, in two days' time on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Uh, anyways, but you just can't even debate. Like I even said it in my history class, we had yeah. a full-on debate about white privilege, and I'm like, fine, because I like, you know, being in that heated position where I can actually debate. Like I'll, I was the only kid who said like white privilege wasn't real. I even said, listen, guys, I'm just here for debate. Yeah. I think, like I said, I think it does exist in some cases, some it doesn't. Yeah, doesn't matter. They could like I remember like after school, like some like uh, I think a brown kid came up to me, he's like called me Hitler, and my friends like, you know what? If I called you Osama bin Laden. I would be a racist, but you saying that is fine. And like, yeah. that's, it's a double standard. Which 100%. Is fucked up. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's sad. I think what needs to happen is people need to stop calling each other Hitler because mm-hmm. clearly. I used to call people Hitler when I was younger. And it's I'm like, like oh, yeah, oh. I completely uh, wanted the mass genocide of an entire uh, culture. To- yeah, well, totally. You're right. I think, I think <laughs> it was like, you too, Arturo. Have a good one, buddy. I think Charlie Kirk said, like, calling Pete, like, I think he said, calling Trump Hitler is like lessening how evil Hitler was. There's been lots of people that, yeah, yeah. I've heard that from other people mm-hmm. too. And it's true. Yeah. 
You can't. That's that's a false equivalent. That yeah. doesn't even buy self. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that doesn't even. Uh, that doesn't. They're not the the same thing mm-hmm. at all. You cannot compare somebody randomly just because you disagree with their views to someone who massacred yeah. six million people. Mm-hmm. Especially when it's for academic purposes, you always have to have people who are going to fight the other side. Naturally, which is so good. Yeah. And you have and like I remember even in history class we did this too. We had certain debates and like mm-hmm. they wanted people and they he actually the teacher actually legitimately asked, "Okay, where do you actually stand?" And and he'd actually make people, okay, well, you're going to actually fight the other side. Mm. You're going to have to think on their end. There's so it's a, like you have to be able to think on both sides. To put your beliefs aside, let's say, for that instant because it's, again, academic, educational. You can't brand someone. Or Here's a challenge for everybody that's listening, okay? For anybody that's listening to us right now, I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to challenge your friends, your family, everybody. Try not being offended for one day. Also, try not saying if you have a propensity to say ists like racists atheists sexist uh all of those kind of ists type of things or calling someone hitler bigamist try not or bigot xenophobe all that stuff try not and also try steel manning your opponent's argument versus straw manning and the difference is try explaining their argument this is a steel man argument Mm -hmm. explaining the person their argument back to them better than they possibly could to make it as solid as possible doesn't mean that you're going to weaken yours it's just that you're starting off on a better foot than you otherwise would have Mm -hmm. i just don't have arguments with people anymore because of the fact that i'm working on our better articulating words in general and phrases Mm -hmm. and until i can do that properly i am no longer in a position I feel I'm no longer in a position, this is my own personal choice, to debate somebody on anything that they think of, even if it's against mine. Unless I'm able to better articulate their argument back to them and steel man their argument. Because if you're going to straw man the other person and just all of a sudden be like, well, you're a racist, conversation over. Mm -hmm. You cannot deal with somebody like that. And if somebody calls you that, your best thing to do is walk away. Mm -hmm. That's my my recommendation. And go find your own thing to do. Mm -hmm. Write it all down if you want. It's a lot easier. Just on like just to like a final thing. Sure. Is that lots of people will like preach about like uh this is a, I watched iTub's video and he mentioned this. I'm gonna use this as an example, but like how bad the N word is and they get so much power, but they'll go around using like other like racial slurs regularly. Sure. It's kinda mm. like and he said, which I think is a really good one, is like either they're all bad or they're all like okay to say. Like either yeah. you can say them all, or you can't say any of them. Which is a good point because like people will go around like you can't say the N word and then call someone else a racial slur. It's kinda like, well, like yeah. what do you like? What do you what are you doing? Like, I feel there's got to be context in it. Well, yeah. context is important because like yeah. <laughs> one person said, if you say the n word, you're a racist. It's like you're not. No, like. But it was in the song. <laughs> well, no, I I, I, I think context a, is a, very important. Oh, yeah. I think intent is very important. Mm-hmm. It's not oh, even yeah. context. Yeah, uh, there's no like the great George Carlin said. There's no bad words, just bad intent. And yeah, I think those are the biggest things. That's true. Um, this will kind of lead us into Mark Maron's comments. Uh, Ooh, Mark Maron, if you ever seen no Glow, idea how we even got to this point actually we started with dave chappelle yeah, yeah we were talking about oh, the yeah. joker trailer though then dave right. chappelle then well because we were I, I made the comment that he's dipping into the whole mm-hmm, social yeah, justice yeah. stuff and then yeah and it was then, a good uh, we have really good like off roads yeah. we're getting better at him i think we're get, definitely getting better mark maron ended up getting a little sidetracked when talking about how he had no interest in ever watching the likes of avengers endgame and had some strong words for fans of comic book movies so not marvel fans just comic, comic book, book movie movies. fans In case you missed it, here's what he said. I have some issues with them, and I generally don't like them. I don't want to be bullied into seeing those movies. I'm a grown-up. I'm not seven, and I think those movies are for grown male nerd children. I just don't go see them. I'm not interested. Unfortunately, and not surprisingly, everyone decided to criticize him for his comments, Mm -hmm. which, yes, as a fan, I feel they're a little short-sighted, but whatever. Then... Mar- he atta- then he goes after um, the actual Marvel fans, and this is where the crux of this newer stuff is. He says uh, in a tweet, Hey, Marvel movie fans, stop acting like outraged religious fanatics defending their belief system. It's okay if I don't believe. Let it go. Also, I'm actually a big fan of a lot of comic art. Try to relax your mainstream asses. Good times doing the troll dance with emotional baby brains. Forgot what an exciting waste of time this can be. Seems like a typical answer. What do you guys think? I think his first statement was actually like somewhat respectable. Like other than the point of saying like I don't want to get bullied into seeing them because like I don't think anyone's like forcing mm-hmm. you to watch them. I think that's more of a thing of how like over like saturated the superhero market is. Yeah. But 
It was kind of like, okay, I can see where he's coming from. But that second comment just took all credibility away from him. It's kind of like, you know what? Calling everyone nerds. Yeah, you're a child. child. Like, you're that was a the first part of his, of his original comment. He is comment. a clown. I'm going to say it right now. He's a clown. Well, the, no. the thing is, how does this compare to... Sorry, I'll let you go. What do you think? No, I'm kind of with him. Like, you you had your respectable opinion. Like, I don't want to be bullied. I didn't mm-hmm. like it. It's not for me. Fine. Yeah. You don't need to... You, now he went on the attack just because arbitrarily. Well, call he, us he's all a contrarian. Nerds. Like he's yeah. he's one of those guys. His whole shtick is that I'm a miserable fuck that just <laughs> has no no good things in my life. Like he always oh, plays that yeah. oh woe is me life sucks kind of thing. Yeah. If you ever watch Glow, I think he's awesome in Glow. He I is haven't seen unbelievable. That, yeah. seen that show is very good. He is so good in it, and I I like his brand of stuff. So yeah. but so I I understand what he's like. Mm-hmm. This is almost like the Bill Maher stuff, mm-hmm. but the yeah. Bill Maher stuff I thought was, I think it's Maher. I don't think it's Maher anymore. Who cares? Don't give him that respect. To say his name but he, he was going after Stan Lee and his work. This guy's just going after a fan base, which, you know what? It is religious in nature. We go to the altar of the movie theater. We pay our dues. Mm-hmm. We sit down and we watch this three and a half hour service and we go and we talk about it and tell and spread the good word. What did you do? Oh, that's not my microphone. <laughs> good. Uh, we spread the good word of the Avengers or sure. of the Dark Knight or of whatever, like but all not these Justice movies. League. Not Justice League. BBS, yeah. yes, but not Justice League. But I mean, he's not wrong on that religious comment. I no. just don't. Yeah, I think it's it's evident that the I'm not seven and I think those movies are for grown male nerd children, which they're not created performed or acted or made by seven-year-old nerd children yeah. they're made by people that are passionate by an art form well it's and, also disrespecting the act but that's that how he's for sure but that's Which, how his style is his he's yeah. a very abrasive brash type of individual well, and you say you respect the art but then you call these people who created it well he says he respects the comic art for sure but the not, comic not, art not cre- the actual movies themselves yeah like but the art like you're disassociating the, the whole but he's saying the is he more attacking the movies or is he more attacking movies. the comic genre in general? The movies and how the yeah. fan bases are well the so comics hardcore. are nerdy than the movies though like yeah. come on like you're like yeah. I don't know. It's just a very ignorant comment for him mm-hmm. to say. But like you said, if that's the kind of person he is, then whatever. It's, it's but such a typical he, comment, though, from a lot of people. But he I was wonder- asking for it for it at the yeah. end of the day, regardless of how people would react. Like he was asking for it. The second you said that comment, if pe- if he just stuck to his original thing, didn't do that part, I think no one would have said a peep. It's yeah. Like, oh, that's fine. That's his opinion. Don't care. But when you attack people on top of trying to state your opinion, oh, I don't really watch them. They're not for me. But screw those guys that watch it. They're like little kids. Like, oh, screw you, man. <laughs> well, and the other thing, too, is that the backlash is only that the magnitude of the backlash is directly correlated to the the, the fan base itself. The Marvel yeah. fan base, like we were talking about in the chat today, it's now today bigger than the Star Wars one, but not bigger than Star Wars overall because Star right. Wars yeah, has yeah, yeah. decades, generations, right? However, it's a big group of people that love these movies Mm -hmm. that grew up on these movies took their kids grew their kids up on these movies all that stuff and so you've got so many people that are going to attack them Mm -hmm. if it was the cult of the people that love justice league let's say the let's say there's the five let's say there's twenty thousand people no sorry let's say there's five people that are in the religious cult of justice league that adore that movie it wouldn't no be as what. much because he'd be like, all right, here's a couple comments who gives a flying yeah. fuck, right? But the magnet, the, the size of the Marvel fan base today yeah. is massive. Just like if when The Force Awakens came out, like the day, the, the next day after someone shat all over The Force Awakens, you would get the wrath of millions of fans. As I did you. when I shit on The Last Jedi. Yeah, but everybody shat on The Last Jedi. No, you were in good company. I did it. But my, I remember I actually lost like so many. When Entertain Facts was still uh, alive. I shit. I said it was like the worst, like quote unquote, comic book movie of the year. Yeah, people like fucking hated it. And I even defended. It. I'm like, yeah, this is like my like. I defended why it was bad. I wasn't just like yeah. it's bad. That's it. But it's also for this guy to comment that saying I want to be bleeding into seeing these movies when he's in a comic book movie is so hypocritical and stupid. I'm surprised he didn't like catch himself where he's kind of like. Because he's in one. Well, yeah, it's, what, yeah, it's more of an art film, though. But it's also like, yeah, but it's a comic book character. It's based like, on the. Co- well, that's why he says I, I appreciate the comic art. So he likes the comic books, but the movies, and I, he obviously signed on to this because it's a very different thing. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> we're, we're talking because he's in. Because he's in it's the like, movie, yeah. You yeah. man. <laughs> I thought it was Joaquin Phoenix in the beginning, but it's not. It's it's yeah. Mark Maron. Well, but. I feel like you should be smarter than to like shit on a bunch of movies before yeah. the movie comes out. But again, it's part of his shtick. Everyone's gonna do it, and I think, and just like anytime somebody likes something, there's gonna be a like it's gonna do that elastic boomerang effect where people are just going to shit on it after the fact. Well, it's kind of like what you said, or you used the term earlier, but Tino like, used it a lot. It's the contrarian. 
there's always contrarians that will like no matter how good just it for is, the sake of doing it. it yeah yeah they're just gonna do it just for the sake of doing it all right i gotta go to the bathroom so let's wrap this up okay um <laughs> right sorry uh last thing i will mention oh this is awesome i'm very happy about this Gillette loses eight billion dollars <laughs> and are quote unquote shifting their focus. Yep, because of their supposed the backlash from their toxic masculinity. It was still ad. that big, like <laughs> holy. How much do they have? Like how much are they worth? Oh, they're it's a it's a massive massive company. Yeah, that's a big ass. That's but like, this fuck. is Ooh. this was the best Anymore. thing. I think it happened this week or it happened the last couple days. Whatever. Yikes. Eight. Billion because those virtue so, signaling asshats decided to put a misguided, stupid ad on, and they're facing the wrath of the public. That guess what? You've been catering to forever. Now you're just gonna shit on for what? Mm-hmm. Well, that'd be like best time to buy stocks, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe, but you know what? Ge- you know what? Gillette might need at this point after losing eight billion dollars for being a bunch of fucking idiots. You might need to call Connexus Credit Union. Connexus Credit Union hashtag Money Talk blog provides expert advice, tips, and solutions wow. for all life stages and events. Money doesn't have to be stressful, and Connexus is here to help. Maybe not Gillette because you guys are assholes, but you guys are facing your wrath right now and quote unquote shifting focus. Check it out today at ConnexusMoneyTalk.ca and start feeling confident and stress free about your money, Gillette. Anyways, that's what I wanted to leave. Short, sweet. Mm-hmm. I thought it was hilarious. They got woke so when and they happen? went bro. When did this happen a while ago? Like this is like I don't know how long ago this happened. I know the ad itself. Um I don't well, I mean, obviously that was in like January of the new year. I don't know when they, the actual report of them losing the eight billion is, but I thought that was just mm-hmm. that was just amazing. I was just so happy to see that because I hate Well, it's like Kevin Feige so much. like saying, Yeah, all Marvel fans are fuckheads. What he said? No, it's like, oh, it's like it's oh yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 shitting on the mm-hmm. fan base. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, um. Last yeah, thing, I guess. Happens. Rotten Tomatoes hired 600 new critics, and it skewed 55 percent females of the 600 that are hired. So I don't know what the actual overall percentage is. Diverse. So they're looking mm-hmm. to increase their diversity. Which, hey man, bring everybody. As long as they're credible, people are going to weed out the the shitty people. Um. Obviously, this is because of the backlash from Captain Marvel. I'm more. I may create the equal opportunity. Just don't give out equal outcome. I'm on that camp. So give as many people opportunities to do so. And the people that are going to do the reviews and the people that are watching the reviews are going to square it all out in the end. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, if that's what they want to do, that's your company. That's your prerogative. I just as long as they don't do the shit that they did with Captain Marvel, where they're deleting and silencing a bunch of reviews just because they don't like it for some odd reason. Hmm. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. Cool that's stuff. It. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts. Nope. Shit. Dead. Make sure you're following the F word <laughs> on Instagram, the Lazy <laughs> Canadian on Instagram, the F word podcast on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter at the F words G. You can also email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com, even though nobody does. We are so, so close to a thousand followers on YouTube. Uh, we are like 965 or something like that. Um, if you are enjoying this podcast, um, comments or likes wherever you're listening to, whether it's Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you can add those likes or make comments or something like that, all those would be great. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. And it just helps grow the channel even more. Also, we, we want to thank the SAS Podcast Network for having us on there. And, of course, Connexus Credit Union, as I mentioned, for being a sponsor of said network. Uh, for everybody that's listening, again, thank you so much. Every single time you guys listen, and it just makes me smile, whether it's one person, 10 people, 20, or 1,000, hopefully one day. It just makes me smile nonetheless. I'm G. It's the meme dream. It's vast. And we are out. Thank you.